Hey guys and welcome to another video and this is called The Secret of Dancehall. <laughs> um, and by secret I mean there's a really really simple basic principle to making the contemporary dancehall beats right and it's just based on something you may not have noticed okay it's just if you can count you can do it and I'm going to explain that secret or principle to you now and then you'll be able to easily make dancehall beats right um, like like this kind of thing right forget the sounds here we're just on about where the beats are or put in the second bar variation All right, and then there's a variation on that like this right and then you've got this is the new beat that's taken over that one I just played you was more like 2000 it started fading away in 2018 19 this new beat is coming and this is on nearly everything now and it's based on exactly the same principle it just resolves with a different ending and then of course you've got your reggaeton feel that's in there sometimes full-on reggaeton beats are used if so normally they're a bit faster they might go up into the 190s or even faster whereas reggaeton's more slower you know what i mean anyway so look let me explain this secret principle to you and and then it's just it's so simple what it is is all about the three time count right listen if you've watched my reggae tutorials where i do beat making um i in a lot of the beats nearly every beat i put the snare dropping on the two and the four and then every so often someone will come along in the comments and go you don't know what you're talking about in reggae the snare always drops on the three you've got it not dropping on the three so you don't know what reggae is and reggae has to drop on the three no you see the thing is i keep saying this I'm going to do a doc, I'm going to do a video on explaining it properly, so that to put this to bed once and for all. When you're counting reggae, if you really play the music a lot and you know it, when you're playing reggae, you're always counting at two different speeds. You're counting at normal and double time all the time in your head, and you constantly morph between those two tempos. Now, if you're counting in double time, yes, the drop drops on the three. If you're counting in half time or normal time, whatever you want to call it, half the speed of the double time, then the snare drops on the two and four. And if you watch any reggae guitar player playing, chank, 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 you'll see their shoulders and their body lifts up when they do the chap. Chank, they chap on the guitar down with their arm and raise their shoulders and body up. So they're dropping on the one, chank, up on the, on the offbeat. So it's like, boom, chank, chank. So they're playing in between the downbeats in their body etc right but his thing also there's the three time feel going on in, in reggae but it's harder to discern but it's there right and that's because jamaica's right off south america and you've got the latin influence all the time and and the the most you know the most common latin count or feel is one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two and that is the principle of all this dance hall and it's coming out of the reggae three time break and i've mentioned this in other reggae tutorials back in the old days particularly around that time in the 80s when ragamuffin style came along a ragamuffin a ragamuffin djs and producers were doing a lot of breaking down in the mixes they were getting the main fader or a bus fader whether in the dj on the dj mixer or in the studio and they were normal beat was going on like and then they'd get the fader and go up and down with it to make it pump going like that band started playing that break so the band would be playing like and then they come to the break and the whole band would do the stabs boom 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 and back to the beat like that that three time break became a rhythm in itself boom 
boom, 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 boom. And it's based on one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. The the South American it, that's basically a flamenco clap. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay. And that's what is behind all these beats. Now, if you went back a couple of years, this beat is based on that principle and it was it was everywhere. Forget the sounds, we're not talking about the sounds. It doesn't matter the sounds are a bit basic, vanilla. Like that. And then there was a there was a variation where instead of playing kick, kick, snare, you played kick, snare, snare. Like that. Right? But now this new hip hop beat has taken over uh, what I call the hip hop beat because it sounds a bit like hip hop. But it's based on exactly the same count one two three one two three one two but with a variation in the second half it starts with the normal like this but it can again like with the other one it can be kick kick snare whoop it can be kick kick snare like that right or or it can be oh, go away scrolling bar or it can be Kick, snare, snare. Right? But what makes it what I call why I just personally call it the hip hop beat, nobody else does. It's just what I call it. Because with the different ending in the second bar, it sounds very much like an old school hip hop beat. And it's that boom dap at the end. And that beat is on everything now, to the extent that you almost don't hear this one anymore whether it's the kick there or the snare on that second one right now it's all this thing with this ending which does this and just to show you like okay if you went back in time this is Kada and you can count it let me just lower the volume on all these volume you can count it Miss Rang I'll count it along, but it's like what? ready. One. There it is there, right? It's, it's slightly more pronounced in this pattern, a bit further on. Right, that's it. More older beat, right? Uh, bat, that's such a reggaeton thing. There it is again. Boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap. Instead of boom, boom, dap, boom, boom, dap. You can have the double snare instead. Here's one. Yeah. Boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap. Yeah. Boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap, boom, dap, dap. Right, yeah. Here's another one. Boom. Da, da. Ah, now this is now the new beat. Da, boom, boom, da, boom, da, boom, boom, da, right? Which is, sounds very hip hoppy, right? Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da. Yeah, this is the new beat now that's just on everything. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da. Then another one. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, yeah, and again here. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da, and again here. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da, only they're dropping some beats out for that bit. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da. Boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da, yeah, and again here, boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, da, boom, da, and again here, boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, and again, boom, da, da, boom, da, and again here, boom, da, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, boom, da, and again here, da, da, so this got the boom, da, Kick like it's boom da boom, boom da boom, boom da boom da boom, boom da, and again here boom da da boom da boom da da boom da. Right, it's just every damn beat now. So 
and a slightly faster sometimes. Okay, let's get to this secret, this principle, because it's all about that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Let's start with the old school beat, the basic old school beat. It's still around, but it kind of got superseded by that newer one a couple of years back, which is now on everything. And it's that. Okay, now, there is is the door. This is not about logic. This is This is the same for any door, right? But your door tends to put the grid by default into sixteenths, right? So what you do is you change your grid to eighths. Then you see it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Check it out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. There it is. Boom, 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 bat, boom, boom, bat, boom, boom. And if I slide down and count it for you, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, ba, 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 ba. And it resolves to a one bar at four, four because three plus three plus two equals eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two is eight. Well, if you put your grid in eights, it's so simple to see it. Yeah, I could just get the tempo back up and now the variation on this beat obviously is that this second beat here plays a snare instead of a instead of a kick. So it's boom, clap, clap, boom, clap, clap like that. So that's it. That's all it is. Okay. okay. So that's that but be it's faded now a bit and and now it's this one isn't it where are we yeah it's this and it's on absolutely everything this one now and that is the core of it whether or not this is playing a kick instead that might play a kick same as the previous beat this boom bat bat it starts the same it starts exactly the same as the old school beat, like that. Either kick, kick, snare on the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. It's either kick, kick, snare, or kick, snare, snare. But it resolves differently. And the way to see the ending visually is for the second half of the bar that ends with that bull bap, put the grid into quarters. And then you see it, it's on the two and the three. One, two, three, two. So the way to count that now is you're counting this as one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two in eights. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then this second bit you're counting in fours. One, two, one, two. Or in two lots of two. And you count it like this. One, two, whoop, you count it all this way. One two three one two three one two one two one two one two three one two three one two one two one two let me slow it down even more one two three one two three one two one two one two one two three one two three one two one two one two and there it is there's your beat it's easy peasy now your reggaeton is the same thing it's exactly the same if I take these out just take these out completely. There it is. Boom. Bap. Put it back into eights. One, two, three. Let's move that out of the way so it doesn't confuse us. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. And then the second bar. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. That's the core of reggaeton still. But what's happening is after this centre beat, on the next eight, you're dropping in a kick. And then you can also drop in an extra snare after this kick. Now that offbeat snare, you'll find it in the old pan just the one of them here that old 
It's called Beat. This one. We're at slow tempo now, right? But when it resolves, it's quite common in the second bar to put that little offbeat there. Exactly where it is in reggaeton. Let me get rid of it. So you've got now, boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da. But what happens is that little beat will be dropped in on the next eighth after the kick of the first beat of the bar. There, put it up to tempo. Put a little clap with that as well. And I have introduced other little variations, like because you can have drilly hats in this music. So I put a little 16 to get the little extra hats in. You put your eights in if you're going to use hats or shakers. You put them in as eights, but to put in all your little offbeat, little drilly, your little extra drilly bits, double time, like brr, brr, those bits, you've got to then put the grid into 16s again. Real, that's where the grid normally is. Then you see the line to put in those little extra hats. And I'm putting a little one at the end of each bar to do a little brr at the end of each bar. Like brr, duh, duh, like that. Brr, 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 brr. Yeah, and then I'm putting a little row of shakers there because I like them. Now those, you can move them around, go back to eighths, try them in different eighth positions. Like move them all to the right, one eighth. Move them another eighth to the right. Which, and I like that, that really fits. So that little off beat finds its way into that old school beat quite often on that beat. It's always there, nearly. Or oh, it's very common to have it there, but in reggaeton, uh, in reggaeton, it's, oh, which is here, they've just, what they've done is they, it's just that same beat, same beat. Come on, go away. It's the same boom, da, da, boom, da, da. But offbeat after that centre snare. Offbeat after that centre snare on the next eighth. That gives us the boom, da, boom, da, boom, da, boom, da. And then there'll be, after that first beat to the bar, remember in the previous one, it was here in the second pattern. There. After that kick, well, we put it in there. Hey, presto, reggaeton, if you want, you can just have it there as well. So it's in every pattern. It's in each half of the bar. That's it. Easy peasy, right? Now, to go back to this, um, what I call the hip-hop beat, because it does... One, two, three, one, two, three, one, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then for the second half, one, two, one, two. In that beat, or the more old school beat, which is just that, right? With this centre beat either being a kick or a snare. Yeah. As I said, that little offbeat is very often in the second half of the bar, in the second cycle round, it's put there. Right? But, uh, but. but this beat's different, this new beat that's come along with this new ending, both bath. So where you put your extras in, the best thing to do is put in an extra and then you just move it around see if it works I mean you can have it as a fill at the end you'll hear that quite a bit or you'll hear this fill at the end right but little singles as off beats you just move it around at eight see if it works that kind of works can't, that could work as a variation. That's a, no. no. So it doesn't... That This is more square. The, the end pattern, the end bar of that whole beat is more square. 
the swing is in the first bit. So you put that in there and stop trying moving it around in the first half of the pattern. That don't really work. What about there? Mm, no. Yeah, a bit more better. No. So yeah, you know, it'll work in certain places as a variation. That's it. That's the whole principle, right? Easy, easy peasy. So if you're building a beat from scratch, it's this simple, right? This simple. Let's just do it from scratch. I'm going to put this to about 187 or something, right? It's so simple. You put your grid into eighths, not sixteenths. It's much easier. It's much easier to see in eighths. And then you just count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and that's your drops. Boom, 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 boom. And then you, for the old school beat, it could be snares instead of kicks. Or this can be, it can be double kick snare. Easy peasy, right? For reggaeton, you just drop in the kick there on the next eighth after that center snare you can put an offbeat snare there as well right and then to, to do the new beat that's in every damn bit of dance or now you add an extra bar and put your grid to quarters and just put it this is the second second bar Put your grid to quarters. The first bit you do it in eights. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Take that out. That's doing the reggaeton thing. And then the second bit, kick snare. So this you put for the second part of the bar, you put it in quarters. One, two, three, four, and it's on the two and three. And to build the first off in eights, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then you can then if you want something to keep time you can start off with eight hats or shakers right and if you have them in like that they're keeping time they're a bit static so the best thing to do is get your velocity and remember you're still counting that one two three one two three one two so lower down the one there's keep the one in then the two and the three lower it down next one lower the two and three down then the final one two lower the two down then back and we do it again one two three one two three one two then you get the feel of the riff of the eights That's it, man. That's the beat that is on every damn bit of dance hall now. We're not talking about the sounds now. Like, for example, on the snare hit for this bit, this blap, blap. It's very popular on this blap, blap of the snare to have a, a blip sound, like an electronic 808. What used to, you know, the, the, you first heard it on an 808, that blip, blip sound. I could, I could tell you, I could show you that sound very quickly. <coughs> um... It would be that, that blip like that. And then you put that in, let's change that snare to. To that. Okay, and then you got this. Change these to that, whoop, that. But the blip is quite popular. You like to hear that? Maybe sometimes with a, so a softer snare. Like that. That blip is really popular. So I'm going to just leave it on. Um, I like that clock sound. Right, so that's simple. And then 
without going into massive detail, as far as the base is concerned, the principle of the base is the same as British hip hop. I'm not so sure if American hip hop follows this rule all the time, but it basically the base mirrors the kick. So there's the kick in our pattern one, two, three, and the snare two, three, and right, it follows that same the same as the downbeats here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then for the second half of the bar in quarters, that's on the two and the three. So for our bass, we'll put the notes in um, to mirror the kick, to mirror the downbeat. So one, two, let's make it the same. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. And then for the second half, quarters on the two and three. Whatever, and but you, and then it's a question of do you keep one on every single one? That could come out, yeah, or that could come out, yeah, or that could come out. I'm not saying that's every bass note in the pattern, but there is a core to the bass patterns that. Uh, these are a little high up, but I just wanted to hear the pitch, so I'll learn them down. Yeah, there's a principle that the bass locks to the kick drum or the or the kick kick snare, you know, kick kick snare kick kick snare or kick snare snare whatever, and that buff baff at the end. Other notes you can put in your bass line. If you listen to tracks, but you'll hear that a, that a lot of the bass line notes are locked to that boom, 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 right? And then there'll be other notes added in. And sometimes they'll be taken out, so they're not on those boom, 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 right? But that is, in essence, the principle of the bass line. And otherwise, all the other sounds, it, dance hall's gone very techy. You know, like you've got all this future house and stuff, which has been around for a long time now very very strong emphasis on on quite abrasive synthesizer up front really in your face future sounds right and that's really worked its way into the into the dance hall now and the lyric in terms of the lyric it's quite babbly you know what i mean it's quite mumbly although the lyric ain't as clear and, and rhythmic like it used to be so much i mean that's just a general prejudiced opinion I suppose but it is quite a lot of jibber jabber do you know what I mean um, it's not nice in it's not a nice up the dance hall vibe particularly right anyway there you go man um, I hope that is useful but with that principle you can make beats really really easy in the slightly older dance hall style or this newer style and the reggaeton and you mix and match them all and the newest style, remember, is simply the first half of the pattern is exactly the same as the old school pattern, but it's just adding on that what I call the hip hop ending, the buff baff. Like that. Yeah, that's it. And then you just put your variations in, right? All right. I hope that's useful.